All right, welcome to the Mary Grant Nature Preserve meeting. Today is August 21st. Um, the only old business that I have to discuss is our yard sale. Um, as most, if not all of you know, we netted about $307 or so. After all is said and done, mostly to donations. Mm -hmm. um, we had one community member set up a table, which is, uh, to say the least, a little bit disappointing, but after all is said and done, it was still a very successful day. Are you agree? Right. Are you yeah, agree? Yeah. There was a lot of foot traffic that came yes. in to stop and people slowing down to look and. Yeah, but we, we made most of the money on, on the food. Yes, so, definitely, you know. yes. definitely. I would say we might have made thirty dollars off of our table that we had, and then the community member threw us twenty yeah. bucks for the table that she set up. The uh, I didn't realize it when I left. I picked up some of the stuff that I brought over for donation, but one of the things I forgot was, was the uh, heater. The, I have no like idea where that heater. is. I didn't see and, it after and, I bought it off. Sunday, I come back to see if it was here. It wasn't here, so I'm hoping it was so old. Okay. I'm thinking it, it must have been. Yes. Because yeah, I didn't that, see that's it. That's probably why I, I didn't pick it, it up so because old. I didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> but all of a sudden, you know. Okay. It, I think it was it wasn't sold. so. I may have been in here mm -hmm. out, out front with you guys, and then somebody got right. it. Right. You know? Yeah, no, I don't remember bringing it inside, and no. I don't think anybody yeah. else did. I, oh, I think it got sold. Yeah. And we had um, a, someone from the community stop by who was on their way to the dump to put a little kid bicycle right. in the goodie shack, yeah. and he donated it to our table, and that sold within like five oh, minutes. Nice. Oh, good. Yeah, I think Kelly bought it. Kelly bought it oh. for Calvin. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yep. Uh, um, so, like I said, overall, I believe it was a successful well, event, yeah. even though we did not have a lot of community participation. And a lot of fun. And a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and, and uh, <coughs> it was always worth it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because yeah. if nothing else, we got the word out that mm -hmm. this is something that we're going to do again. Um, I think that if we do, in fact, do it again next year, definitely going to set up out front. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because, because of all the traffic. Well, what about yeah. the parking? Uh, parking wasn't an issue. No. Oh, okay. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Nobody, almost nobody came in here oh. to park. I think the most cars we had parked out front at any one time was maybe three. Oh. Yeah, oh. tops. And they they stayed right okay. on this side of so the road. So no parking areas were yeah. not a problem. Yeah. Right. Nope. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Nope, traffic was not a problem and parking was not a, a problem. And? We also had a nice visit from uh, the sheriff that was on duty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he stopped by and we chatted for, I don't know, 20 I, minutes I or so. Very deliberate. And um, by the way, the hot dogs were delicious. <laughs> 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 they were uh, good. And I usually don't like hot dogs. <laughs> they have to be, but these were good. We yeah. only buy certain hot dogs. It was the to toasted bun, too, that day. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yes. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll keep our chef for next year. Comment <laughs> <laughs> if we do it again, uh, or any event we do, we need to get to the library. They're, they're part of, they're not part of us, but they get an interest because of the story walk. Mm -hmm. And so, if we can get like advertise, yeah, at the yeah, library? get them to turn around and, and people come in and they can turn around and say, "Hey, don't." Oh, did you yeah, know yeah. that? So I know that. The few days leading up to the yard sale, Jennifer and her staff were talking about the yard sale that really came to their window. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Elise was doing the same thing okay. because I well, talked no, to her no, a couple of days before. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 it's something I didn't think of before. But, you know, <clears throat> right. to remind you in case you, you know, didn't. Yep. You know, but it's just it's one of those things that we got to put on our list. Of, right. So we don't overlook it because we need all. All the advertisement we can get. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. That goes to advertisements, and mm -hmm. um, we could have done better at advertising. I'm not gonna. But you know, but it's a. Did we have the flyers? No flyers. So, and Dan oh, yeah. hit every Facebook group within yeah. a certain radius yeah. around here, and some of the folks that came in. And this is why I say we should probably set up out front, or maybe on the sides, yeah. or something. Because all, a lot of these folks were coming over from Wakefield 
and oh. Shockley and Sanford because he put, I mean, he was just hitting oh, all of these different Facebook right. groups and they were, they were coming by. Yeah. So the word was out. Yeah. But the other thing is we have flying, put them up at the transfer station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those guys yeah. also. I mean, the flies would have been. People. Yeah. Yeah. I did have a conversation with Bob Mann, the same guy I picked up the oh. tables and talked to police. Oh, yeah. uh, he said he would try to tell people about it, but yeah. well, it's kind yeah. of easy. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> and you did uh, advertise on the APAT channel? No, I did not. That that would be a little suggestion, too. It's okay. free. The what's, APA, what's APAT? The Active, Active Public, Public Access, Access Television, Television. Oh. cable at the town, too. Yeah, you had to go through Jennifer. Jennifer would do that. Yeah, she would do that. Good to know. Yeah. I didn't know that. Because it seems like when we do the pumpkin events, yeah. that's just so, like the word gets out. Yeah. That's, that's a so pumpkin well event. For, yeah, for people are just yeah. well, inquisitive. Like the children. Yeah. yeah, the children. Okay. Mm. So, so, things we can do better for yeah. next year for the yard sale. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I definitely like the idea of moving the tables out front. So when people drive by, they, they get a glimpse. So I didn't think about that, yes. but I mean, we, Tammy and I do the same thing. Oh, look, there's a yard sale. Do you right. see anything good? Is it worth right, stopping? Right, 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 yeah. right, right. <laughs> so what we do is we set up like the first tables, and then if all of a sudden more come in. And, and then you can still do tables out back. But yeah, so we'll, 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 once they, when they get out of the yeah. car, that room. Right, we'll set up tables right. like over here yeah. in the woodsy area right on the woods line, and then we'll come over here and start setting tables up. Leaving the middle open so people can see that if we have a food table, we have a food table. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then if it gets that crowded, then we can start putting people out there. We'll yeah. have a food table. Yes. And can. also get the, the money first, the deposit. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the other thing we talked oh, about that yeah. day. Yeah. Is, no um, shows. No shows. Yeah. When I kind of shied away from that because of all of the logistics with the town hall. Oh, well. Um, so I'm going to brainstorm ways yeah. to get around that if I yeah. can. Okay. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, um, because you're committed yeah. once you give a deposit. You know, if even if I can get people to write me a check made out to the town of Acton. Right, yes. And I just hold yes. it, you know. Yeah. And if they don't show up, then it gets deposited. Exactly. If they do, they can get their check and give us whatever they want. Exactly. So, uh, I just need to think of a better way to have people reserve tables. Right, right. Way. Or space, I should say. Yeah. yeah. What else? A more say. committed way. So they must have a system for that because when they do the Christmas at the town hall in that community room, they used to have um, craft fairs in there. Mm -hmm. So they must yes. have a mechanism yes. for yes. reserving so tables. Jennifer yes. did oh, talk Jennifer. to me yes. when I first started talking to, to her about yes. it. Yes, yes. And she said she needed some kind of form from me yeah. for oh. information that we wanted to collect. And mm -hmm. if people wanted to reserve a table, we had to direct them to the town hall to pay for the table and fill okay. out the form so that we knew who paid for tables and who didn't. Okay. Um, so that's the that's Did the you method. think that was too cumbersome? Um, I thought that we would have even less people actually sign up for tables if we did that. Yeah. So I, I'm going to try to get a meeting with Jennifer in the next couple yeah. of months and say, okay, how... What are some other ways that we can do this? Is it acceptable to have them write me a check? And I just hold the check. It's paid to the town of right. Acton. It's not right. like it's going to go into yes. my check account. Exactly. You know? yeah. And then yeah. if they don't show, then the check gets deposited. Exactly. And if they do, they can either choose to exactly. let us keep the check or they can give us cash for the day. Because that, you know, those um, town hall craft beers were very Oh, yeah, back. and very successful, right. too. I remember so, you. When did they stop that? I, I think COVID probably. Because it was only a few years ago they had one. Well, that wasn't that with the whole tree lighting thing. Yeah. This was like in the middle. This was at like the fall. Fall. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, they usually do that with craft fairs. Well, October, that might have been like the church did a craft fair and maybe they, you know, mm. something like that. Pride Day is something. Remember yeah. we used that Pride Day? Oh yeah. Remember and the the uh, fairgrounds was open yeah. too then. What happened to that? Because Strawberry, we used to have huh? that. It died. I know, but why? Yeah. I don't know. Because there was no pride in Acton anymore. And then they had a little Apple bus Festival. or something was to take Apple you around Apple historically. Yep. Yep. Do you yep. remember that? Or are you too young? <clears throat> wow. <laughs> you know yeah, who, I'm who started that? that? Hmm? You know who started that? Oh, uh, me, um, Lorraine Yetton? No. no. Me. Uh, you did? 
That was my first act. Oh, well, get going. Start it up again. Oh, because, uh, what you call it? Uh, oh, I didn't know that, Dick. Susan. Oh, let's down the street here. Uh, she's involved with the church. Doyle? No. No. Uh, Terry Minahan? No. Yeah. Terry Minahan? No. She wasn't involved in that. That was Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Seth, her wife. Yeah, okay, Terry Minnie, yeah, yeah. she was involved in that? No, but, oh. uh, but she's okay. taken over now and she has it at the... Uh, oh, she's taken at, over at now. The, the, uh, Apple, Apple, Apple Valley. Campground, okay. yeah. Oh. And what upset me mm -hmm. was that we I think, talked with her and uh, she was charging like $50 a table. Now, when we had Pride Day years ago, yes. any community committee or whatnot, yeah, uh, free, you know. Right. But if, if a vendor Not came profit. in, yeah, and, that was and different. Going to yeah. sell something or something like that, then we'd get so much a table, okay? But she, and so all of a sudden, like the, the Mary Grant or the Historical Society, well, why should they have to turn it's around right. and, and pay fifty bucks for a yeah, table? You know. It's, you may sell a few things on the side. Yeah. But anyway, uh, hmm. well, we'll have to do more research. Yes. To, yeah. to do that so that people are committed. Yeah, right. absolutely. In that way, in the way that they used to do it. And that's something we don't really need to address there. until next spring. Right. But be thinking about it. Like I said, yeah. I'm going to talk with Jennifer about other ways that we can. Mm -hmm. Have people make a deposit, if you will, but not necessarily have to cash their checks or right. something like well, that. Well, well, I don't know. Kind of a non-refundable deposit is kind of a good way to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, non-refundable. Yes, of course. <laughs> because then, then you're they, committed, if, or else you're if it's right. not non-refundable, yes. they're like, well, I get my money back. Okay. Yeah. That's what I think. Another but thing I wanted to me. bring up that was brought up before um, about having a little garden and planting pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm suggesting this is because it's such a learning way to teach younger children it, just to start from scratch and see, you know, mm -hmm. whatever vegetables we grow there, how it's growing. And I can learn from that fact, too. Mm -hmm. I think it would be a great idea. Do we have a spot that is open to morning sun? In the back, no. maybe? <laughs> yeah, see, that's the problem. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the trouble that sometimes up over here. That's the problem that I found in my house this lines. year. It's you've got to have full morning sun, or uh -huh. all of the leaves get uh, this blight on it, and it kills your plants off. Huh? That's why I have four pumpkins, and I ha my pumpkin patch actually is in full sun, full morning sun. It's the only one out of the four mounds that I have, and I still don't have anything. Okay. And my pumpkins okay. are this big. Okay, we won't go up. But how about some vegetables and, and reap them and you can sell them like a little farmer's market? Mm, that's time intensive though. Yeah. 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 But that actually brings just a up thought. another just a thought. Yeah. Yeah. interesting concept, not for this year, but for next year. We either during the yard sale or pumpkin event. Why can't we have a little farmer's market? You know, people. Oh, set up all over town and say, you know, yes. come and set up your tables here. Let's get oh, everyone yeah. in one place. Yes. Yeah. Let's bring the community back into the community. Yeah, we should. You know yeah. what? There is no fun not in that. Right. Uh, I, but you write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I think a farmer's market here every Period. Saturday every, right? or every Sunday or whatever they want to do. Yeah, every we, Saturday we can go around and great. get donations or whatnot. No, yes. they could just set our, our, up. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Just say, they pay us yeah. for their they, space yeah. that's and then a good they idea. set yeah. up their own thing. Yeah. Did you know there was a sign at the Key Realty that said farmer's market Saturday and Sunday yeah, until yeah. I read it. It's in Sanford. Right, yeah. Central that Park. Yes. I thought they were going to do it in that field that yeah. used to be a cr yeah. used to have craft yeah. And yeah. they yeah. charge in Central Park 25 bucks. Yeah. Oh. And oh. One deal is $75 yeah. for the year. You know, so the year. I think yeah. what we need to do is get people who are going to come if we do it. We need to talk to people. I mean, I could put it out on Facebook and say, yeah. hey, if we did a farmer's market at the Grand, yes. right. weekly, once a month, something like well, that, weekly. would well, you well, stop weekly, by? Would yeah, you come weekly. and get vegetables from a farmer's market? Yeah, and, I think and, so. And with, with, do we, and I mean, there were, there were so many farmers in yeah. this town. 
mm -hmm. and they don't really have a outlet unless they drive to Sanford with it. Right. Yeah. And you I know, everybody great. drives to the dump on the weekend, so yeah. it's not oh, wrong. It's, right it's here. Oh, it's so good thinking. Yeah. That's a great yes. idea. Okay. Okay. Put that down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's so thinking. we're we're getting way out of yeah, yeah. way out of my agenda right well, now. Well, these are just ideas. I know. You know yeah. We'll get there. Old, are you done with old business, or are we all? Uh, well, is there anything else for the yard sale? No, I think. The only one, the only other thing I have for the yard sale or any sale we do here is that is it is there a possibility to have more directional signs in? So, like at the top. At the four corners oh, yeah. of the oh, town, yeah, yeah. where the town hall is. Yeah. Yes. Is there a Mary Grant preserve arrow to here, and then at that intersection, a Mary Grant so preserve arrow? So what we did for the yard sale yeah, was. I mean permanent. Signs. I mean permanent. Oh. I don't know about permanent. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah. But we you can know. totally do something like the pumpkin. Yeah. You know, just more generic and. Put it on a sandwich board, you know, Mary Grant Preserve, and then have a spot where we can put whatever the event is, right. and a big yeah. black arrow that points this way. Yeah. yeah. I just meant like so the people in the town know that this is here. Right. Well, a lot of you people know, don't like, know, um, but it's a, right. A lot of people don't. Like you know what? Yes. I'm willing to bet you that anybody in the town of Acton that has Facebook knows about the Mary Grant. <laughs> they do now. <laughs> they don't have a choice because I bombard them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else on the yeah, yard sale? Very well. No. Nope. All right. New business. Um, let's talk about our pumpkin event first before we start spitballing again. <laughs> okay. Uh, we decided on October twenty third. Mm -hmm. I did check with the school. They are going to do trunk or treat, and they're going to do it on the thirtieth. So the twenty third okay. is our day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, the next thing we have to decide, and I know there's strong feelings on both sides, drive-through or a traditional pumpkin carving event. Now I want to ask you to consider the Delta variant mm -hmm. and the majority of participants that we get for pumpkin carving is under 12 vaccinated. years old. Right. And Cannot not able to be vaccinated. Cannot be vaccinated. So let's discuss that and then I will put it to a quote-unquote official vote. Well. See, it's it's hard to decide because it, you know the restrictions as a whole can change. Right. Okay. Right now, because we don't know any other restrictions as of today, I would go with the carving. Until until a few weeks, the governor says no, you need masks, and then we have to change that. Right. So I. Right. I have a couple of concerns. Go ahead. So I love that idea. I really want to do. But. The standard carving event. Mm -hmm. However, however he uses my okay. concern is all of these kids running around who are not vaccinated right. with the Delta variant on the rise, and we don't know what the governor's going to say. The governor may say a week before mm -hmm. our carving, mm -hmm. actual carving yeah. event, no more public gatherings, and can yeah. we shift gears that quickly? I think we can, yeah, and just say as of now we will have, you know. Um, Pumpkin carving, as or put a little stipulation as as long as you know there are no more restrictions. So one of the other ideas that I just now came up with is maybe a hybrid event. So if you are not comfortable sitting here with thirty other kids, sixty other kids, however many, mm. you're more than welcome to pick up your pumpkin. And right, go home. that's yeah. good too. Yeah, free choice and pro choice. They stay. If the if masks are mandated, they have to wear their masks. Right, right, right. But as far while, as we know, while they're here. So I will also uh, say that I'm, I'm willing to defer not this decision. Though. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to defer that. this because yeah. I want to meet again in September uh, okay. yeah. on a weeknight so Kelly can be here as well. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Okay. I feel like we're heading in the mask mandate. Yeah. Yeah. There's already yeah. a bunch of um, the schools are mask mandated, right? I believe the so. The school and, is masks. Yeah. And yes. there are so, some grocery stores that are going back to full masks right. for all of their employees. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. they have not um, stipulated I, I just, for shelter. I just got yeah. back. Yeah. That's why I carry my you know, pocket. Yeah. 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 I always have to get out of the car. So I, I always go to, feel like it, and I was, and I go we should do what the, the schools are doing. Mm -hmm. yep. The schools are mask mandated. Then an event we have, the kids are in that close proximity. 
that we should follow what the school The difference doing. here, and I'm just playing devil's advocate mm -hmm. here, is outdoors. Is we're outdoors. Right. Yes, outdoors. And we, I mean, we have, we have a, a whole bunch of tables now, and if we need to, separate. We, yeah, we can get do more this, tables from the town know, hall. Social distancing, whatever right? you want to do, yeah. And we can, you know, separate them even further. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I like the hybrid idea. Oh, yeah. But I also think maybe see what September brings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so the hybrid idea you, is for yeah. sure. So we'll, wait, wait, we can wait. set up a drive-through. Right. I, I will tell you that I'm leaning towards drive-through right today. Right. That may change. Mm. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of the hybrid event, and that may be the way we go. Mm -hmm. um, but I would ask that you all think about that yeah. hard. And when we meet in September, let's have that official discussion yeah. and a vote on Make it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see what we need for both events. Yeah. And then, like you say, the final decision. We'll see what, right. what happens when all yeah. the kids are back in school. Yeah. <laughs> well, since I wasn't able to grow any pumpkins this year, thank you, Mother Nature. Well, you well, have four. pumpkins. Hmm? Yeah. You have four. Well, well, Critter's got two. Oh, gee. Okay, yeah. stop okay. jumping ahead of me. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't know what you've got plans. Oh. Um, all right, so we're going to defer that decision. Um, Advertising. So obviously I'm going to paste it all over Facebook. Oh, yeah. um, what else do we want to do? So we want to do flyers. Flyers at the town hall. Flyers at the library. Put it on cable. Yeah. I, I think we should you know, try to primarily, you know, encourage the local. Mm -hmm. We know that there's going to be a few that come in from oh, yeah. around. But, Are we able to do know, it at the school? Fly it at the school? Can we put flyers at the school? I don't, I don't know. know. I can ask. Because mm -hmm. one of the things I want to do once they're in session is I want to see if I can get an audience with uh, John Ross. Thank you, John Ross, school administrator, mm -hmm. and see what they're doing and what works and doesn't work. If I have a bunch of kids out here, what are the rules that I should be following? Because he'll be up to he'll be up to snuff on that on yeah. what the government's yeah. required. Yeah. So if, if if we don't do just the drive through, right? Yeah. Um, as far so, as events go, having flies at the school, I just wanted to Right. Um, so, flyers. Now, I had asked one of our members to create some postcard-sized flyers that we could distribute during the yard sale. Um, we never got those flyers. Mm -hmm. So, my question is, do I just create the flyer? Yeah. I don't know. How, I, I wish I was more savvy with that. Oh yeah, me too. I'm not savvy at all. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a graphic artist by any means, mm -hmm. but I can put something like that together. Yeah. So. Uh. Draw like a child, pumpkin, you know. I don't know. Alberta, <laughs> I guess it wasn't a right. on my computer. <laughs> no, I'm not I mean, I, I have one that I did for a couple of years ago, and I just need to update it. I keep all of that stuff. Right? Oh, so okay. I'll, I'll come up with something, and I'll get it sent out to the entire committee for a yay or a nay, or let's do this, or let's do that. Uh, and we'll go from there. Um, so assuming we do a hybrid or a straight carving event, we need to think about activities. So obviously pumpkin carving. Do we want to have a pinata again? Yes. That's typically that's a big draw. Yes. What else? Anything? Cookies. The cookie decorating. Yeah. So I like do that. have, um, my mother has once again offered to run the cookie data decorating table if we decide to do that. Uh, she'll bake the cookies, she'll do everything we need, wow. we just have to give her space. Yeah. Right. Or Literally do the drive through bags of cookies. Right. Yeah, like, like we set yeah. up yet last time. Okay. Which I heard from parents. It was great. That they loved that yeah. idea. Loved yeah. it. The kids loved it. They each had their own little individual yeah. everything and there was no fighting. And we got quite a few good pictures on the Facebook page. From and, and not only that, I would love to do the fire pit again mm -hmm. and do the marshmallows. I think I that kind of, that's, that's driven by yeah. if we have an yes. actual carving event. Right yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But socializing with little kids, I think that's, that's special to them. So, <laughs> do I remember correctly in that, not last year, but the year before, we did like a trick or treat walk. We sent some of the we older did, kids yes. out on the trail. Yes. Do we want to try to do that again? Mm -hmm. um, I think so. If we're going to have a person. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I think so because we had candy out there, right? We did. We had little buckets that were set up at different spots along the inner walk, and I heard from some of the parents again that they they really missed that last year. Yeah. Because their kids had such a great time going on that little walk, and they got to see the story along the way. Too. Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking. If we yeah. can get either a bucket or someone stationed at each storyboard, right? You know, that encourages kids to read the storyboard. It gets the parents involved if they're out there with the kids, and we can also talk to the library board about them getting involved. You can make it a Halloween book mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. And not, not yeah. even that, but maybe they can supply some goodies for us or something yeah. out of their budget, you know? Yeah. All the days without COVID. <laughs> what is that even like anymore? I don't know. Um, any other activities? I Personally, I think the games are a bust. I think having like the, I think when we set up the cornhole boards, I think I saw two people using them. Yeah. yeah. I, I well, think I say, the, the, the main attraction is the pumpkin yeah right, right. They're, they're all yeah that's what they're <laughs> yeah pumpkin yeah. and candy yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah okay uh other activities anything and obviously we can add to or whittle down this list oh, yeah. when we need to get yeah. it yeah. Up with a new idea or something i think it, that's enough it takes so long for them to carve the pumpkins yeah you know i mean mm -hmm. they spend especially a, some of the younger kids they spend a lot of time doing that yeah. and if you have the the uh, um Trick or treat walk with the candy. If if we don't have that many restrictions, I, I was figuring, and I'm just throwing this out there. You know, years ago at these fairs, they had like um, a potato sack race. Mm -hmm. You know, little games like that, and maybe whoever wins, they can win the little prize or something like that, or who can maybe. throw the ball the furthest or whatever. So does that mean you're volunteering to organize that? <laughs> I can. I can. <laughs> if, if we don't have, you know, okay. I remember those days. So yeah. we can we can talk about that again in yeah, September. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not adverse at any means by having activities, but yeah. like the game thing, like the cornhole or things like that, I think are a bust. Okay. Yeah. But if you throw yeah. in a little prize. Yeah. Yeah, but as I say, the, we need to concentrate the main attack is pumpkin Yeah. 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 But you also want to make sure everyone is uh, not entertained, but kept occupied. Exactly, oh, yeah, yeah. with little kids. Yeah, right. Yes, especially with little kids. Yes. <laughs> now, do we want to do we want to do food again, or? That's next on my list. Actually, that's where I'm going. <laughs> Sorry, Go figure. I'm not jumping in. I don't know the agenda, so I don't know. We must be. Yeah. It's only twenty some odd years. Twenty-nine. Um, so food. <laughs> Obviously, Tammy's going to handle the food for us. The okay. question is, what do we want to do for food? Was now, that donations? Did people give you donations for the food? Or can, how did that go? Yeah. Well, we can say that again. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. we didn't make a lot of money the last time. We on, didn't charge. We didn't charge for anything. Right. No, right, right. Right. no. But as far as people giving us donations, we did. I think. I think. I think it was like 80, 85 bucks. Oh, okay. so <coughs> yeah, speaking of that, <coughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I mean. I am not adverse to taking some of the money that we raised this year. Oh no, that's right. yeah. And put it towards things we need for the pumpkin event, yeah. like more decorations or signs. Well, what, what, whatever we like need that. here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't want to spend thousands of dollars. No, no, no. no, no. But I'm not adverse to picking up if we pick up a few things this year, a few things next year, or even after Halloween. Go out and shop right. the clearance sales for Halloween oh, stuff. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. what we used to do. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I still have all the carving tools that we used. Good. And all the big. Yeah, we still open, have a bunch in here too. Oh, I mean the ones that the kids actually so use. So when when we and come the to the event, bowls. right? When we come to the event, we're going to need those because yeah. yeah, we'll save those for if we do another drive through right. or if right. someone wants yep. to take a kit home. Yep. We have, I have them, them all stored down solid. So. All right. So back to food. Uh, two years ago, we actually did hamburgers, hot dogs, things like that. Do we want to do that? Do we want to do just grab and go, uh, donuts, snack stuff? I think the snack stuff. Huh? Yeah, I'm thinking. Mm. I'm thinking that. Simple. Yeah. Yeah. And I would not be adverse to making those apple cinnamon or cinnamon sugar donuts again. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That I actually had a great time doing that. 
And I found an easy way to do it where I'm not doing an awful lot of work. I basically pop open a thing oh, of biscuits, yeah. punch a hole in the middle of them, and fry right. them up. And I heard yeah. your husband stands in front of the hot oil for you. <laughs> he does. He's good like that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so snacks yeah. only. Yeah. I like the idea of the donuts. We can do some prepackaged snacks. Um, we can hit up Franny's and Dunks again or wherever for donations yeah, those, those of those snack stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. dozen donuts goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. I can bag up little bags of popcorn. Oh, ahead oh, instead of having a machine that, yeah. here, and absolutely, yeah. I can just bag them up ahead. Um, um, and obviously drinks. Yeah. I'm okay. Just we'll do like the mini bottles of water. They're cheap at BJ's. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think you get like forty-eight. Yeah. 48 it comes in a two stack high yeah. flat we'll okay. have a flat one flat of bigger bottles for however few adults are going to mm -hmm. be here i don't count myself in that group um glad you caught that Thank you. uh but for us and then the mini bottles for the kids otherwise they drink half of it and they're it's done, a waste you know? yeah oh yeah it's a waste so anything besides water to drink do we want to have coffee Coffee yeah. is cheap. Well, we yeah. have I mean, we have a coffee pot. Yeah, <laughs> we can make thirty pots or thirty pots, thirty cups of coffee. Yeah. For you know that would be a good idea, just in case if it's chilly mm -hmm. in October, just to warm you up. That's yep. a good idea. Yes. Yeah. Just and then that brings to mind to warm you up. Do we also want to have a jug of hot water and some hot cocoa mix? What? Hot, hot cocoa. chocolate mix. Oh. Well, I think I have that. I have my my big two and a half gallon. Thing I can just make hot cocoa and have it already made, and all we have to do is just you know, it to pour it yeah. out. Because we all know how kids feel about hot chocolate, mm. especially if they're sitting in front of a campfire with a marshmallow on the Right. Do we have any marshmallows? <coughs> all right. Yeah. Well, they have this this thing out now where it's uh, the Jet Puff hard marshmallows that you put in the the hot cocoa mix. It comes in a jar and you shake them out onto oh. the top of your hot cocoa and mm -hmm. it's it's just like the same little marshmallow chunks that you get in a packet yeah, of hot yeah. cocoa. Yeah. Now one thing I want to do different when it comes to drinks especially if you were going to do that jug of hot chocolate mm -hmm. is I want someone in here to pour the hot chocolate and hand it. Yes. Oh gosh yeah. Um, I think it's cleaner. I think it's more sanitary. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we can control them a little bit better mm -hmm. instead of just kids running up and grabbing it and right. dumping hot chocolate on the ground because they don't want any more. <coughs> yeah, those small paper cups, you know, the insulated paper cups. Yep. I can I get those pretty have... dirt cheap. We have a bunch still, but I can get them dirt cheap at Amazon right now too with cupboards. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, so snacks, water, coffee, hot chocolate. Anything else for food? Okay. Candy. Yeah. So if we are considering an actual carving event, our standard normal pumpkin carving event, we're going to need a ton of candy because we have to fill the pinata. We're going to have goodie bags for the kids. Right. Um, so one thing Tammy and I have talked about doing is every time we go like the BJ's, starting now, we're going to pick up a giant bag or two of candy. Is it, and is that something that like Hannaford or Walmart or somewhere would donate? Does someone want to go ask? So yeah. we've asked before and they, and they now have programs. You have to go online and fill out yeah. this, um, this big long application and submit it yeah. and then they determine whether or not you are worthy. It, yeah. it, it's very difficult now. Mm -hmm. Believe me, I know. Unless you go years. to a mom and pop like Lovell Lake or something like that or Jerry's Market in Sanford or um, the corporate stores really want to track all of that. So they make yeah. you apply for a grant at the corporate level. Yeah. And then you might get the money. Right. Right, you might qualify for a gift card where you it's, get yeah, that, uh, right. Right. That's what happened. But this yeah. this yeah. again yeah. falls $50 under the and then you have to go in and buy your pumpkin. You yeah. Yep. So if they're getting five dollars for a pumpkin, you get ten pumpkins. 
So this again falls under the, I'm not afraid to take some money it's out of our budget for the, yeah. for the candy. Yeah. And that is all according to whether we just don't have to do it as a drive Because we still don't know that. Well, right. Even I if mean, we do it as a drive through we're going to, not candy. as much candy, but right. we're still going to need candy. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, on that, what you said, you know, the way I look at it, is that you, you get the candy, you take the money out, but all of a sudden the money can will be replaced into the account in donations. Oh yeah, absolutely. We don't get that much in donations at the pumpkin event. I think the, the year last before last, I think we got eighty bucks or something yeah. like that. And I mean that's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I'm not. As far as I'm concerned, the pumpkin event, I'm not looking to make money. Yeah, no, no, no. That's no, why no, we do no, fundraisers no, no, no. ahead of time. That that, that one is a kind of a freebie for the yep. right, community, okay. and right? Especially for the kids. That's yeah, that's our right. gift back. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah. I know. So it is say okay. the. Uh, but, uh, so I, I would ask all of you, if you're able and so inclined, if you see a sale on a big bag of candy, just pick it up yeah. and hold on to it until we, yeah. we get together for our pumpkin thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. And we know we can't store it in here. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. So. The animals would love it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, so last thing that I have as far as a pumpkin event is the carving kits. Linda already said she has all of the mm -hmm. open carving yep. utensils in a big bowl at her house. So we'll need those. We need to take stock of what we have here. There's a few kits in there still that we can hand out if people want to take their pumpkin and go home. Where'd you get all those kits? They're um, here, so I'm, I think that's somewhere some here. Tammy and I found Martins. a whole bunch of margins one day and we bought them all. Need to do is whoever one of us you know happens to go in the store in the city and on sale or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 I mean, we grabbed a yeah. bunch from like and Christmas so tree shop and you, Christmas we tree say shop. We say you, you get some, well, I get some, mm -hmm. she gets some, and make you know. Yep. Boxes the box full again. <laughs> I'm say, right. The nice thing is the what we don't use is shit. And then, well, that's just yeah, it. I mean, yeah, yeah. as long as someone takes the open kits home and washes them, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I have no qualms with bringing a bucket back and putting a handful on each table if you're doing in-person thing. Yeah. So, um, and then the biggest thing, pumpkins. <laughs> okay, is that with Kelly? Tell you. Okay. So, so. Yep. Uh, no, we get plenty to start with. So we just go in and, and uh, I'll touch base with Kelly. Orchard. Uh, I think I'd like to use Kelly as the backup. You know, so we. I will tell you that I'm looking to have 100 pumpkins this year. Wow. I want it to keep growing. I want it to grow so much that it's an all-day event and we run out of pumpkins. <laughs> but in order to get there, we have to have pumpkins to make sure people come. Yeah. Because if someone comes and we don't have any pumpkins, they're not going to come yeah, back. Yeah, but that, that's what I say. Kelly is so close, like last year. Right. Yeah. We, we, need, we thought we would feel better if we had a few extra. And instead of me having to run all the way into Sanford or right. you know, Rochester or something yeah. like that, all of a sudden I thought, Kelly just was right. Yeah. 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 So we broke down here and we had a whole pile there. You mean Kelly's yeah. old? Yes. yes. You know, he said, back up to the pile. So I backed up, looked on top up, and he, <laughs> he loaded the car up. Okay. And, uh, you know, so, uh, but if we go to him first and, and get a commitment from him, then you go back. And, but I don't know. He, so he, he, he's, he's got a big guy in there. A couple other things we've done. I think Tammy and I, a couple of years ago, talked to Will Cody. He yeah. just gave us yes. whatever he had left yeah, at the end right. of the season. Yeah. Yeah. He right. grows pumpkins? No, yeah. he purchases them. To resell them. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, but, but he, well, I think, he gave day. us like eight or ten pumpkins because he just had them left over. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I was wondering if. But he's got a place up there. I was wondering if we could yeah. ask him if we could plant something. Yeah. yeah. Where does he get his supply from? Where he gets it from? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they get their cheap enough, they can get that pile. No. Yeah. No. I went over. Not last year, the year before, you know, when we went through and Will gave us a bone up where we got it. So I went over to Giles. No. And uh, he says that he's getting so much, so many requests 
that he just did. Yeah. Because then he wouldn't get he, he did it. Uh, Alfred and Waterboro. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're willing to pay money well, that's for what them I mean. yeah, if they would just give we, us a break yes, on it. Like wholesale. Yeah. You know? I don't, I don't have a problem going to Walmart, Hennifer, and saying, you know, we're doing this event. Can we buy 30 pumpkins at, at your cost? Price. At yeah. cost. Yeah. Or 30 pumpkins plus a buck. Right. You're still making money on it. Yeah. And we're taking a whole bunch of pumpkins off your hands that you don't need to worry about. Because you know no, but they but a, lot, a lot of places. Uh, give me an example. Uh, this is a few years ago. I happened to go with a summer's work mm. or something. And then when I, I went into, I don't know, what's across from Home Depot? Whatever. It's Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. Yeah. Yep. And then when I come out, I said, I'll just check Home Depot. And when I drove down the street and all of a sudden, Come to the store. My lot. They had so many pumpkins you wouldn't you could believe it. Oh, bro. that's good to know. So, so as I say, some of these places just have way too much. They're not going to sell them anyway. So you know, they're fresh. Yeah, you good. know, but it didn't cost nothing to yeah. turn around and ask. Yeah. You know? yeah. right. um, are you going to check the campground too? Yeah. So I'm relatively certain I can probably score between twenty and thirty pumpkins again this year from the campground I'm still looking for. I will reach out to them probably next week and say, hey, you know, if you have your Oktoberfest thing at the end of the season, can we grab your pumpkins again? Yeah, because they're not going to do anything no. with them. No, and they actually, they actually said they were relieved because then they didn't need to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. so. We decided to go get them. That's right. Yeah, I remember we had the back of the Nissan completely loaded. Back seats down and the back yep. yeah. car was loaded and There were so many pumpkins can, in there. If you <laughs> tell me, I can go and get some. If Okay. If there's a place, because I can fill the back of the Amaro. Yeah. Put all the seats down, I can get a lot of pumpkins in there. <laughs> <laughs> My Murano helped a lot too that day. <laughs> um, so again, be, be thinking about who we can talk to pumpkins about. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm not necessarily looking for free. Right. right. Just I mean, we, we raised a whole ton of money, a lot more than we're going to need if we have to pay for paint. Yeah. Um, we have money work that we can put into this event. Yeah. And your goal is 100 pumpkins. I would like to get 100 pumpkins. Okay. So Kelly can get 20. I'm planning on 20 for free. And I think Tim and I will probably donate some, depending on where we wind up when we get closer to the actual date. Uh, I want pumpkin pack. <laughs> <laughs> and they're already orange. They won't even yeah. last oh. until. Yeah. The, uh, but, uh, what I've done in the past is that we had left over, of course I don't know, but many of them take some home and if they want, but I, I didn't, one, didn't just get rid of them, I came down to the school. Mm -hmm. the one school a little bit bigger than that, mm -hmm. one a little bit bigger okay. than that, and then like they like like that big. A week earlier. And the, the two in the middle, right. and the ones at the critters got. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then my little softball one, I'm so disappointed. What else on the pumpkin event? Anything? Say, can't think of it now, but yeah, we'll have another meeting. And yeah. We're going to meet in September, down. the middle of September, yeah. somewhere. Yeah, okay. All right, um, other new business, um, Easter egg hunt. What's that? An Easter, Easter egg, egg, egg hunt. hunt. So, last year, I forget exactly who it was, but someone who lives up by the town hall messaged me and said, Hey, can we go hide a bunch of eggs on your property and do an Easter egg hunt? I thought that was a great idea. And why didn't we do it? <laughs> so, well, listen, I think the church has one, doesn't it? They, I'm not I sure. I think they used to. I don't know if they Yeah, I think they do that <clears throat> now. I don't know. That would be... Uh, so is that something yes. we want to do? And that's going to have to be something that's well organized because we're going to have to be out here the day before hiding them. Yeah. Right? Do you do, you do that on Easter Sunday? Yeah. Uh, I think last yeah. year they, it was completely homegrown, they hid the, pump, the pumpkins. They hid the eggs on a Friday, and on Saturday morning they put it on the What's Up and Acton page oh, that okay. the Easter Bunny came and visited the Mary Grant Nature Preserve. There's all kinds of eggs out there, and oh by the way, there's one egg that has a big gift in it. Oh. It's probably a $20 bill, I have no idea oh. what it was. But, yeah, we weren't um, involved in it at all <coughs> other than, yep, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So one of the things I want to do is reach out to them 
first. Mm -hmm. what, what organization yes. was it? It wasn't an organization. Oh, it was just I think it was Leslie Byrne and someone else. Oh, I forget okay. who. Um, but if they want to do it mm -hmm. again, by all means. But I want to help. If they um, want us to help them, absolutely. Yeah. If they want us to do it and they want to help, that's okay too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's good. That's you, good. Know, good. Good. you know, I, I think it's a great idea. And honestly, I think if we did it as an organized event, we would have to say, we'd have to do an age groups, and we'd have to have a time. It can't be an all-day event. You know, starting at noon on this date. And this four, or this you know, <laughs> Age toddler to three or four, yeah. you know? Starting an hour later or a half an hour yeah. later, ages five to 10, Yeah. you know? And I do like the idea of having one egg that has a quote-unquote big gift in it. The golden egg. Yeah. The golden egg. Yeah. That's cute. The what do you guys egg. think of that? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. So we can discuss that further as we yeah. go along. Um, talk about a farmer's market, which I love the idea, oh, especially yeah. since you don't have to drive the Sanford for it. I hate driving the Sanford. Now, we, don't, we never did have anything in the winter. Nothing. Do you think we should just plan something? I think it's hard to do anything in the yeah. winter, yeah. especially excuse me, especially here. Just okay. to just to just to put on a like an ad like a blurb on the Facebook page that you know come to Mary Grant for snowshoeing. Right. I have exactly. done that, and in fact, the past couple of years, I've come up and I've plowed out a few parking spots, and yeah. we could actually park in here. Right. And That's all. Just to make so, it yeah, known that, that it's open it's and a, available, it's a and we're alive. Really good place for that. So we were talking about Terry Minahan earlier. Yeah. yeah. She did movie nights through the church. Yes. If you want to do a winter event, what if we tried to do a movie night at the town hall? Okay. I don't know what the, the licensing aspect of it is. Yeah. Yes, the indoor thing too this winter might not be good. Well, couldn't right. you just get a, a VCR and a screen and just... I don't know how that works. I would, what I'd like to do is... VCR, is, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> What I'd like to do is talk to Terry and see what's involved. So why did we need the license? Yeah. Why did they need the license? What is the license cover? If we do a free event, you know, do we even need it? Can we just rent a movie? Yeah. But I want to do it the right way because it's a town event. Right. No, I understand. It's not like we have a bunch of people to watch a movie at my house. We could do something in December with Polar Express. Yeah. We could totally, if, if they do their, their tree lighting ceremony. Right, that right. would be it, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Oh, by the way, at 8 o'clock tonight, the Mary Grant Nature Preserve is hosting the Polar Express at the Town Hall. What's Wear that? your jammies. We'll have hot yeah. chocolate. But I, but I, I think they have that at the church, though. A movie at the church. Okay. For the Polar Express, that yeah, type of thing. Yeah, like oh, they in do. the church they have, yeah. Oh, we'll yeah, have to yes. find out what they do. And I don't want to... Yeah. Or we can find, we can find another Christmas one. You know, if, I guess we have to figure out if the church is going to do that or not. Okay. And if yeah, so, exactly. if they're going to do it during the tree lighting ceremony. I just yeah. don't want to overlap anybody else. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, all sounds So good. what I'll do is I'll try to reach out to Terry Minahan in the next couple of weeks. What's the matter? It's okay. That, that, uh, and ask her if she knows if the church is trying to do a movie night right, right. right after. Right, exactly. Because I don't want to do this. The thing I like about the tree lighting ceremony is it's active. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's primarily acting residents. And if the church doesn't do it, I absolutely want to do it. And I'll pay for the hot chocolate out of my own oh, pocket if we yeah. can do it. Well, I think we have the funds for that. You don't have to. Yeah. No. So, I really like that idea. Huh? Be quiet. Oh, no, I mean, why, why, you know, I mean, why should it come out of his pocket and his money? Yeah, and we can make more with fundraising. Anyway. They never discourage volunteers. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Right. He doesn't know, I think. You know what my policy is? What? I wouldn't offer if I didn't want it. Yeah. You might be surprised, Virginia, if you really looked. If you looked under the covers of one of these events, you might be very surprised. That's all I will say. Okay. Um, spend your money. <laughs> and by the way, we need this and that and that. <laughs>
The nice thing about spending my money is I can always say no. And I'm, I'm with Dick. I mean, if it's for the community, especially for kids in the community, I don't mind spending money. Oh, now you're making yeah. me look like the bad guy. Oh, no, 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 come on. Not at all. That's just our I just, I, We're this all about only the kids because in the community. If you use, this is my, yeah. if you use, and of course you're going to make it back with, you know, funding and this and that, but if you use the Mary Grant money, you know how much you're spending. Yeah. Do, do you understand? Yeah. To facilitate more fundraising and the growth of the money that we need to satisfy the expenses for the Mary Grant in the future. That's that's what I'm getting at. <clears throat> so one of the, the big picture things, this is very mm -hmm. big picture that I'm looking at, I can get enough money in the Mary Grant accounts to pay for a well. We won't have to go oh. to the town capital for the Wow. That's a big item. I know the well is something but that we've all talked about. Yeah. <laughs> That's, no, that's, that is a big item. That doesn't matter that the community or kids in the community. That, that's that a want, big. not a need. <laughs> that's so, a big anyway, item. Anyway, we're getting off topic. Yeah. Um, other ideas for new events that we can consider. It's okay if there aren't any. Yeah, I can't. I can't at the moment. I just okay. think improving the events that we have. Yeah. Okay. And then when? And then, you know, like the picnic in the park thing was a great idea too. It's just. We have to find a way to get people to come right. yeah. Well, and it's it's just COVID too. Well, it, it, exactly. It, you know, it, it was so, always a, a really good event in the past. Yeah, but but the key there is it was in the past. Yeah. So the, know, the people that know. came, the people that used to come, a lot of them aren't with us anymore. Oh. <laughs> right. So they were the catalyst of people coming because they recruited their families mm -hmm. to come but you know if they're not with us those are the people that held everything together and if they're not here so now we have to create our our new batch of people that are going to hold oh, things right. together and try we're starting to do that with the events we have now yeah yeah so we'll try okay yeah uh anything else for the committee yes sir again to remind everybody that we have more responsibility than just put on events. We have to maintain this department. Uh, one of the things I like to put on myself Stokes, the big thing there. Uh, the, there was a big pile of brush that uh, when they took the stumps out. Barbara's son and daughter have to come over to help her other one to spread the clean mm -hmm. And uh, I asked them to turn around and go around and trim some of the branches. Uh, so they trimmed them with a big pile out back here. Okay. Uh, that wasn't over I will be touching base with uh, Maple Stone, but they don't have a truck to get rid of stuff. You know, mm -hmm. all, all of them. So, uh, anybody knows somebody to uh, pick up the turn around and help. So, Is there still a pile up there? Yeah, we're yeah. just be on the fence. Oh. oh, wait, I have that. We can do that. We have a small How much does Mary Grant have in the account? I don't know. That's up to there. The last time we were, it was about two grand. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, Pile of branches and yeah. stuff out there. I, I'm just curious. <coughs> Make that part yeah. of the fall cleanup, you know? Yeah. Yeah. When we do the fall cleanup, just kind of glue it all together with the rake sure. and all that together. So that would be a thing. One of the things that has, has happened, but we haven't really been keeping it up, like up front. I've got it pretty well cleared, but around the sign. And once we get things cleaned up, Hopefully, Robin, when he comes in, will make, he well, get paid to maintain it. For mowing? Yeah. yeah. He gets paid to mow the grass. Have it. Check, check, trimming and uh, mm -hmm. picking up. I don't believe, and I would have to look at the contract, I don't know if he gets paid to do the spring cleanup or not. Uh, I don't believe Although, he does. I think we can do his. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. I've been hearing it for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Well, the whole meeting, really. Yeah. What's up? But this is loud, yeah. The That's music. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so the other thing that I'm looking for is anybody has, I don't know where I can get a couple of pieces of 4x4 four four pressure treated to replace those mm -hmm. bolts down there. So I can get them lumber right now. And yeah. It, and then, uh, look, sky high. Is it yeah. still because of this? Market it's coming low. down. Yeah. The prices are coming down. Yeah. Yeah. But, still. Yeah. but I don't think yeah, it's going to Somebody may right? turn around yeah, and done a so job around the yeah. house and they got a two foot piece. That's all I need is two, two, two foot pieces of four by four. Anybody knows somebody you got one stuck in there? Mm -hmm. So we've had this discussion before and I can come up with some. I just haven't done it yet. So, uh, then I think I can get uh, Maple Stone to. Okay. I will work with Maple Stone to. Get them replaced. So well, I, I'll, I'll pick up a couple of uh, bases. I'll go with so far as to say you can have that discussion with Maple Stone, and if they're willing to do it, I will get the four by four. Right. Whether I buy it out of the preserve funds yeah. because it's actually to preserve the building, yeah, no, but um, it's a, or it's whatever, the, uh, uh, or I can go scrapping up at the town dump the next time I'm up there and see if they have any 4x4 yeah. in the dumpster mm -hmm. I can grab. Just, just, when you go, just ask uh, Roger to yep. keep his eyes open that Harry Grant is looking for mm -hmm. yeah. you know, two pieces of... Uh, yeah. For some reason, I thought we had a couple in the house, but... They're only, you only need we two might foot long for us. Yeah. Yeah. We had a 6x6. Six six. Oh. Yeah, but right. still. <laughs> anyway. And, so. Uh, if you want to talk to Maple Stone, yeah, I'll talk. Um, you know, they, I don't they, envision they're going to be able to do anything until a while after school starts. Yeah, mm -hmm. No, no. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I will, I will get some 4x4 four four and get it up here. So it is a, some of the projects that they were going to work on, uh, we had that real hot spell, and so they weren't even holding school. You know? mm -hmm. So, actually, you know, <laughs> the end of school came and we yep. lost it. Yeah. <laughs> Done with that. And so. Uh, but uh, I'll see okay. if I can get on their schedule to turn around and uh, pick up a few more of these projects. Do you want to have the fall cleanup? I think so. We can we can do it the same day as the pumpkin. No, you can't. Well, we can. How, how can you do that? Because we're going to be cleaning up the yard anyways. We can do it the week maybe before. Right. I think last year during the pumpkin event, I had my backpack blower out here and I was cleaning things up as the event was going on. Right. Yeah. Now, last year was drive up, so I could do that. I yeah. did not need to be out here the whole time. Maybe we could come the week before, the yeah. week before yeah. or yeah. something. Okay. But I think yeah. we have that schedule, something scheduled. Or just or sensitive. the majority of the leaves are down by then, right? The middle of October. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. I can't commit to that Saturday, I can tell you that right now, because I'm traveling the week before. <laughs> oh. Sucks traveling what? for work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sucks traveling for work. Yeah, you may not have to do that tomorrow. <laughs> oh no, he still does. Oh, he still does. Yeah. I still have to go. Unless the hospital says, no, we're not taking any vendors, Yeah. I still go. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the week after, I'm going to California for it, so it's very difficult for me to commit to that. Yeah. However, if you guys still wanted to have a cleanup that Saturday, right. you can do it without me. Right. 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 That doesn't have to be on camera, does it? Yeah, but it's a we'll see what it looks like. We'll see what the weather does, too. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I can always recruit your daughter to run the backpack floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she likes that. Okay, what else? I just had, um, we were talking about the paint, oh. the building, and my son will do that for sure, spray and paint. Mm -hmm. So the money was donated, $200 yeah. was donated by the yeah. Chapley. Um, 
So would he purchase the paint and then get reimbursed? Yeah. Or how does that work? So if he had, I, the last I remember, <clears throat> he was going to see if Sherman wants to donate it. Yes. And if that's, and he if will do If they do not donate it, if he can purchase the paint and give us a receipt, I will get him a check from the town. Okay. Yeah. He will check. I didn't yeah. know if the money had to be used. The money that was donated, I wasn't sure if it was donated just for that project. And so it had my, to be used. My plan was going to be that if we did not have to buy the paint, yeah. that was going to be used to feed the crew that came and did the work. So it's okay. still going towards okay. the barn painting, just not necessarily paint. Okay, I wasn't okay. sure, because sometimes right. when things are appropriated or whatever, right. 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 it has yeah. to be used for that. For that particular thing. project, whatever. Yeah. All right, I will talk to him about okay. that. Yep. And I don't have a date yet, because he doesn't. That's fine. Yeah, so as soon as you have an aid yeah. that he's going to be here, the better. Yeah. For us. If, it, if it's during the week, and we'll take gonna, the day and off. It's going to like yeah. depend on rain. Yeah. Well, no, right. Man. I mean, you could set a date and then. Mm -hmm. Well, no, but as a, if he can work through you, you can just. Oh, yeah. Oh, know, definitely. You put an email on the yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and then I'll, we'll, we know. Yeah. You know, yep. Oh, definitely. Uh, we'll make arrangements to feed the crew. Oh, oh, yeah. Do you know how many? I think there's five guys that work for him. Okay. Enough. That's a small scale for me, but I think I can handle yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, five or six seconds. Anything else for the committee? Nope. All right, next meeting. Oh. I would like to shoot for either Tuesday, September 14th, or Thursday, September 16th at 6.30 p.m. You have my calendar. I've already looked at our calendar. It's a free book. Okay. Let me go get my tip. Sounds good. You know, unless something comes up, any date. <clears throat> I'm still in paper calendar mode. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, me too. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad, Linda. I can't do the 16th, but I can do the 14th. Okay. So let's 14th. plan on the 14th. Yeah. Okay. I will get it scheduled with Jennifer. I'm thinking probably at the town hall, unless you guys want to do it here again. Town hall. Okay. 6.30p? Yep. Okay. 6.30 on the 14th? On the 14th What's, at the town hall. Is that hall. a Monday? Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. That sounds good. So we have to work around meetings that are going on at the town hall. Right. Too. That's why I want to get it scheduled now, so right. I can talk to Jennifer and make sure we can get on the town calendar. So they say it's upstairs, be a huge room downstairs, basically. Okay. As long as there's two people available to videotape. Or two. I think there's two. I don't know how many people they have right now doing the events. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Okay. Then I would say we are adjourned. All righty. All in favor? Aye. Right here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you.